Hey Riz of You Sexy Beast, this is Sormar and Tristan here, and I'm bringing you Ghostly Advice, a weekly series where I answer your guys' questions, and sorry I was away on vacation this weekend, so I am back and videos should be rolling like normal, and I'm doing this solo just because why not, it's just convenience factor at this moment, but if you guys really want the girls back or anybody else, please let me know in the comment section below who I should have on Ghostly Advice, because I'm at, just change it up every week, I don't know, I'm kind of tired, it's 4 in the morning, but I'm just going to make a video for you guys, Woo! I've been watching your videos a lot lately, and I'm a new subscriber, but I wanted some advice. I met this, this is a girl, I met this guy at my school before summer break, and we just text about every day, but as late, he hasn't been texting me, if ever, you know. We hung out at the pool party a few weeks ago, and I can't tell if he's just busy a lot or lost interest. We talked about having a relationship, but we both have had busy summers, and I don't know what to do, I just don't want to come off as clean. Thank you for your advice, I love your videos. Now, if you do... Okay, you know you're coming off as clingy if, let's say, you text him three times and he doesn't respond. And, like, these could be on different occasions. Especially if it's back-to-back, -back, it's a lot more creepy than if it's, like, one text one week, the next text the next week, and then the next text, text, sorry, um, like, a week after that. So, that is not as creepy as, like, hey, why aren't you responding, hello, like, within three minutes of each other. Um, so that's the creepy part. Then you'll be clingy, but I wouldn't worry about being clingy with a guy. Um, however, what you do want to do is uh, you should definitely ask him if he wants to hang out sometime. Not necessarily asking him out, but just kind of like, you know, you want to go to a pool party or do you want to uh, hang out at my place or do you want to see a movie or something. Just a basic opening line. You know, you can just text it to him if you want and ask him if he wants to go out and uh, hopefully he likes you back and you'll know if he's interested or not depending on his response or yeah hope that does help you i'm gonna get on to the next email hey tristan my girlfriend and i have been dating for about two years now and she got me into your videos she loves you anyway we've gotten sexually intimate she's been begging me to go towards a bdsm style which is basically bdsm is basically like when you are like tying the girl up or whatever or vice versa and uh you may be whipping them um, or, you know, like, putting clamps on their nipples, or just weird, uh, or it depends on who you are, weird, I guess, but, uh, physical pain causing to the other one, and it's more like, I wanna say rapey? I, I wanna say rapey, but it's more where you, um, it's more hardcore, is basically what it is. It's not always violent, you know, it could just be tying a girl up and going to town, um, apple gags as well, which are the, you know, ball in your mouth. Um, but that's what BDSM is, if you guys didn't know. And, uh, but I don't want to do anything that could possibly physically hurt her, but she won't cope with it. I love her a lot, but I'm not ready to tie her up and such. Please help me uh, come up with something. I really want her and everything I have. She's everything I have. But I don't know. Please help. Now, here's the deal, bro. In relationships, especially sexually, you need to make compromises. Now, you know, you're not completely down for the BDSM thing right now, but you don't know if you could be into it. It could be your thing. You don't know. But the thing is, I realize that you don't want to physically hurt her. And that's the thing. That's why they have, you know, code words and stuff like that, is because you don't want to, you should only do things, in, especially with a, you know, fetish like this, um, you should only do things that she is perfectly comfortable with. Like, don't melt candle wax on her unless she asks you or whatever, you know. Don't pull her hair too hard or don't bite her too hard or whatever because you don't want to be that guy. And I perfectly understand that. You don't want to hurt her or do anything like that. But, you know, maybe start slow. Start minor. Start by just, I don't know, maybe just start with just simply tying her up. No apple gag, no, you know, anything physically painful just I don't know domination I guess um, so you can start doing that right and then what you can move on from there is you know if she really likes this man you do need to make compromises in the relationship now what you can do with this though is let's say there's something you like to do that maybe she doesn't I don't know maybe you like anal sex I don't freaking know but she's not into it then you know be like you know I'll do this with you if you let me do this and you need to make compromises um, and even if you don't agree to fully do everything she's asking you to, you should definitely try it maybe once. And always make sure you have her consent with it when it comes to stuff like this where you'd be injuring each other. 
Because that's really good, man. I really appreciate that you don't want to physically hurt her, and you're not a wife beater, and that's fantastic, bro. But, um, you make compromises, get what you want out of the relationship as well, but you need to please her, and if this really isn't your thing, if this really turns out not to be up your alley, which it doesn't seem like it is, then, um, you need to talk to her about it. You need to sit down, have a talk about it, and is there anything else, you know, any other way I can please you sexually without it being this, you know, exactly. Like, tying up isn't that bad, in my opinion, um, and that's not gonna hurt her, really. And then, you see, you could just do that. Like I said, start small, bro. I really hope this does help you. I've never heard of that situation before, so I hope I have the only answer for that on YouTube. YouTube.com slash ghost sickness. What's up, guys? And, um, uh, that's my best answer for that one, bro. Start small, make compromises, get what you want out of it. Those are my bullet points. Hey, Tristan, I'm 13 year olds. Ah, I'm 13 and I really want a girlfriend, but I've never had one. There are no hot girls in my class, like at all. Where can I go to find a girlfriend? What are some tips? I really have no experience. I really wouldn't feel comfortable having my family to find a girlfriend. What do I do? Thank you. Please respond. I need help. Now, here's the thing, bro. You're 13. You haven't missed out on much. Yes, in my opinion, that's a little bit late to the dating scene. But what you need to do is, uh, as far as I'm concerned, school shouldn't be in session. You sent this on uh, July 21st, which is yesterday. So I don't know why you're mentioning girls in your class. I don't know where you live or whatever. <laughs> or maybe do I? I don't know. Um, so what you need to do, bro, is one, you need to know that it's not that big of a deal that you haven't been in a relationship. But two, you also, I'm going to help you uh, answer this question. Now, there may not be any hot girls in your class, but are there any girls that are just pretty, you know? I mean, you may not be shooting for cheerleaders here, but, you know, are there any girls that have that really good personality who, um, you know, still look decent or cute or whatever, you know? I mean, they don't have to be hot, 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 you know, 10 out of 10 or whatever, but, you know, if they look, you know, decent or appealing or whatever, then why not? And the thing that really matters is personality, bro. It's it's really what it all comes down to. If you're not, if you don't like the girl's personality, why be with her? Like, I wouldn't stay in a relationship if the chick was super hot, but she's like a bitch or something. Like, there's no way. There's no way. But you need to find girls that are cool, cute, and ready for a relationship. Now, asking your parents, bro, is before you start dating, I would ask your parents, you know, what would you guys think if I got a girlfriend? Would that be okay? Would you guys be mad? Or, you know, am I allowed to have a girlfriend or whatever? And you can have secret relationships if you want, you know, keep it at school or keep it on the down low or whatever you want to do. Because um, I've never had to do that because my parents are cool. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to say your parents aren't cool, but um, it's lame that some kids, some parents won't let their kids date. And then what else you need to do, bro? Is there no hot girls in your school? Maybe go to the local pool. Maybe go to the freaking, um, I don't know. Just when you're out. Like, basically, man, I was just out at a restaurant one time and just asked for this girl's number and I got it. So, I mean, I don't know, bro. They're everywhere. They may not be at your school, but they're everywhere else. And if you see one that looks your age and you think you can get her, which you need to, you need to have that mindset as well, um then just walk up to her all you have to say is you know can i have your number or you look good today can i have your number or you know that's all you need to say don't try to make small talk don't try to have a big long conversation just you know go up there be like you know you look gorgeous today can i have your number just like keep it simple bro keep it simple don't overthink it and um just keep it to a bare minimum because you don't want to sit there babbling on because Having a shorter sentence gives you less of a chance to mess up, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, bro, go get them. Go get them. Just, and if you're worried, go with friends. Have a wingman. I don't really care. Just go meet him at pools, parks. That sounds kind of weird. But you're young, so parks. Um, you know, school's probably not in session, bro. I mean, it depends. I don't know. You sent this yesterday. But if you've never had a girlfriend at 13, you're not missing out on much, bro. But, uh, not too late to get started. I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Ghostly Advice. Don't forget to click like if you guys did enjoy. Have a great day, and remember the fact that I love you.